what up y'all so Stanley box 2 came in today so mail call Monday yes this is the second official Stanley box I didn't open it so here we go pull up I had a glorious Monday ah man I cut the box a little bit but not a big deal Ooh. literally on the box it says Stanley shipper once I get it out I'll show <laughs> Alright, here's the cover, roughly the same as the last one, it says, wait, incredible wait, turn the camera on before opening, unbox the box, upload when epic prizes, go to stanleybox.com slash unbox, oh, what do you know? First box was a complete surprise and shock because no one really knew what was going in it because it was the first ever. And this opens up with Excelsior! Alright. Ooh! Alright, so it's got a little thing here written by Stan Lee. Uh, and State of New York. So it's in New York. Exclusive Marvel's Unleashed Number One variants, which is cool. Uh, a Stan Lee exclusive t shirt. A Q Fig Spider Man, which I'm excited for. Um, a Mike Mayhew illustration, which is one of the bar the Monsters Unleashed variants. Um, then you got Fun Facts Collector Card Number 72, which sounds cool. You got a little like a trading card with facts about them. Uh, you get Thor, Iron Man. Oh, damn, die cast, and it's four inches tall. Uh, you get a Rawhide Kid by Stanley and Jack Kirby. Ooh. An official Stanley bag. That's I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited about that. And how to draw comics the Marvel way. Oh, that's cool. Then on the back, it is Excelsior. Oh, it explains Excelsior. That's cool. All right, so uh, here's the shirt. It's the top half of Stanley's head, and then underneath it says Excelsior. I cast Iron Man. Oh, Jesus Christ, he's heavy. Pardon me. Well, that's cool. It's a... And they have Iron Man Mark I, Hulk, Thor, Age of Ultron, War Machine from Civil War, Ant-Man from Civil War, Deadpool. Oh, those are four inches. And the six inches, they have War Machine from Civil War, Hulk, Age of Ultron, and Deadpool. Those are the options right now. And this one... Well, this sucks. Well, I mean, it rocks. I'm excited to have it. Uh, I guess I didn't sign to the correct lifetime, I guess, one. Because Stan Lee supposedly signed some of these. And not going to lie, that would have been cool. That's my collection. But not going to lie, this is really cool. I do enjoy that. That's awesome. You know, guys, I'm a massive Spider-Man fan. And it is... Birth of Wolpin Fun Fact. When I was young, I read The Adventures of Jerry Todd, a series of books written by Edward Edson Lee. No relation. That page of each book featured letters to the author, which he would respond to in a friendly manner. Now, I don't know if I conspicuously remember those books when I set up to do the bullpen page, or if I was unconsciously influenced and only afterwards realized where I got the idea from. I do know that talking to the readers informally seemed like the natural thing to do. And Stan, that's why you're awesome. Ah, here's the artwork. Ooh, it came in a plastic cover. That's what I'm talking about. Drawn by Michael Mayhew. Uh, and on the back has a little, little excerpt. When I was asked by Stanley to uh, to draw, or uh, when I was asked to draw Stanley making one of his famous cameos, this time on the cover of orig uh, original Avengers No. One, I jumped to the chance. The cover is one of the most recognizable in the history of comics. The goal was to feel like you're really looking at an old cover of Avengers No. One, but Stanley had naturally found a way to put himself in the action. Um, he. Mike has pencil cut pages for DC in 93, uh, did Zorro, Vampirella, his cover arts, uh, he's done Marvel Comics Mystique, Electra, Pulse, and She-Hulk, he interested Mary Jane Pro's young adult novels, uh, he does some Spawn, X-Men Origins Jean Grey and Savage, uh, did Marvel uh, did Guardians Team at number 3 and Avengers number 43, that's awesome, yeah. This is the original Avengers number one with a monster in the background. Uh, shininess. And Stanley. This one. 
Excelsior Stanley. This oh oh wow I forgot this. oh you got the rawhide kid. Graphic novel. That's cool. You got oh that's pretty, that's pretty thick. The How to Draw the Marble Way. It's a thick book. Looks like somebody might be getting some drawings for me. That's awesome. Uh, you know, you got the two variant covers. One's colored in, one's not. So far, what it seems like, each one you're going to get um, from Stanley, you're going to get a Q-Fig of based off a character he helped create, if not create himself. This is my understanding from what's happening in two boxes. So don't quote me. Uh, it's because the first one the Q-Fig was Cat, second Q-Fig is Spaggy. Um, as you can see in the back up there, my Q-Fig of Cat. Uh, so I'm, I'm not going to lie, it's really awesome. Uh, you get a little excerpt each time, you get some kind of artwork from him, you get two variant covers of a comic. Uh, last one, I got, a, I got a hardback cover about Stan Lee. You get, I mean, Guys, this is a nice box. So this, let me make sure. Okay, this is what I'm confused about. Okay, original Stanley Excelsior bag. Excelsior, the wood shaving uh, file is no longer used to fill furniture or mattress, but continues as packing material. In fact, it's the most common use of the term Excelsior in the last half of the 20th century, before Stanley claimed it as a catchphrase. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at that, that's a little Well, y'all, that is the Stanley book, or box, Neuro Dose. Hope you enjoyed opening with me. That was exciting. Have a great day.